It's been almost six months since an East Orange County man went missing, and tonight his family is pleading for help. As West 2's Amanda Dukes tells us, they are holding on to hope he may still be alive. Happy birthday, dear buddy. This happy video was recorded in 2018, the day before Brian Vladek Hassel graduated from Marine Boot Camp. Vlad, as he's known to his family, was adopted from Russia when he was five years old. After high school, he served a short time in the military, and in more recent years, his family says he struggled to find his place in the world. I think he was just confused about what his life was heading toward, because he hadn't been able to get a job, and uh, he was just depressed. Hassel's father says his son moved in with him a year ago at the place at Alafea Apartments. Last fall, on November 5th, his dad left for an out-of-state trip, and when he returned, Hassel was nowhere to be found. My family is heartbroken without him. Hassel's sister, Bethany, says the last verified sighting of the 22-year-old was November 6th at Foxtail Coffee on University, where Hassel was trespassed by sheriff's deputies after some customers expressed concern over his behavior. There was a report that in the days that followed, someone saw Hassel walking into the woods near his apartment complex. During a search of the woods, deputies found a red slide sandal which may have belonged to Hassel. My concern is maybe he walked into the woods and never came out. Maybe somebody followed him into the woods and caused him not to come back out. To help raise awareness about Hassel's disappearance, Lamar Advertising is displaying both his image and information on one of its digital billboards here on East Colonial. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says it has done numerous searches for Hassel, including using helicopters and drones, and the case remains active and open. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact them. In Orange County, Amanda Dukes, West 2 News.